Good morning, folks. Want to take a quick moment to remind everyone that our anti AGW climate forcing position has nothing to do with the health effects. We advocate for pollution reduction on those grounds alone. If you need your ice on fix and haven't seen the collection Tony Phillips has over at spaceweather.com, now you like them apples. Interesting document just released by AMS discussing the ability to one, predict, and two, detect major weather events how their predictive abilities don't always match their ability to detect them, and they go over a number of significant weather facts and getting down to an interesting little chart they have showing how good they are at each of the stated meteorological goals. Zooming in on Colorado, forget the orographic lifting, cutoff flows, or biblical rain totals. The new news is at the fracking sites. There are reports of damage, contamination of the waterways, and burst pipes. Another good explanatory video on the storm here. Certainly not the only major event on the planet right now. Japan now recovering. But Mexico, la pesadilla no ha terminado. We got Ingrid to the right, Manuel a la izquierda, and it just won't stop. I'm sorry to say that this disaster is still in its early stages. As for Umberto, he always was a bit of an outcast. Oh, and by the way, the South China Sea is getting scarier. That's headed right for Hong Kong. Dear NASA, dear Iris team, what the ever-loving hell have you been doing? Where are our pictures? If they're being posted somewhere and I'm just missing them, somebody let me know because at this point we are weeks past the point of righteous suspicion as to the not-so-inconspicuous lack of data. We now have SOHO confirming the arrival of a coronal hole stream. Speed is nicely set above 500 kilometers per second, streams all around us but not causing any instability. The bigger story is still the solar eruptive potential. The developing sunspots close to center disk have maintained magnetic separation within the trailing beta group. The big incomer is attracting lots of attention from all angles but still not terribly complex or firing strong yet. Incomers up north depress me, will come back to eruptive potential. Gong shows that the solar magnetics facing Earth are somewhat unstable at the moment. Iswa standing firm stating our current hole is very weak with the real showstopper heading in from the limb as we speak. Even with Iswa's weak diagnosis, we haven't seen a six-pointer in days. The full moon complements the coronal hole tonight along with the space weather stream and Venus conjoining Saturn in the evening sky. Quake watch is slightly elevated. Back to eruptive potential, that's a filament, earth-facing, destabilized, erupted. The satellites will be updated for the evening news. Until then, I'll put a moderate to mid-strong impact watch at Earth around 75% with an elevated chance for geomagnetic storms. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.